Hey guys, what's up? It's been a few days since I talked to you, so I thought I'd give you a quick update as to what's going on. I got an email back either yesterday, the day before, a couple days ago, from Lord Drakenblut at the Indiana Linux Fest saying that my submission for a talk had been accepted. I'm going to be doing my intro to Caden Live presentation there, slightly updated, talking about some new features in Caden Live and if you went to Ohio Linux Fest, it's going to be pretty similar to that, just with some minor tweaks to it. But if you're going to be in the Indiana area in the March 25th to the 27th time frame, that's when Indiana Linux Fest is going on. I went ahead and registered today and filled out all of the, uh, what is it, the hotel booking stuff, paid some money, and <laughs> yeah. By the way, speaking of that, they put out an announcement today that if you register with the Supporter Pass or if you register for the LPIC Cram Session, uh, you can... Every 50th entry will win, oh crap, what was it, an Arcos 70 internet tablet or a Nook Color, your choice. So if you are interested in any of that, if you're going to be in the Indiana area, you're going to be at Indiana Linux Fest, it might be worth registering for their supporter package just because it's $65, I think, 65 or 70 uh, Feel free to correct me if I'm wrong. I'll have a link to the site. Uh, but you have the chance to win something that's worth potentially quite a bit more and can be maybe extremely useful to you. Anyway, so I'm going to be going there and presenting and all of that fun type of stuff, so I do hope to see some of you guys there. I'm going to try to get at least one or two guys from my lug to go with me, uh, if for nothing else than maybe to help offset the cost a little bit. Other than that, I had a wonderful weekend with the family. I, uh, it was my son's birthday a few days ago, and we had his birthday party, and every you know all the family came in and celebrated. and It was just a lot of fun, so that was, that was good times. Uh, the reason I bring that up, though, is I did spend a lot of time while the family was here, when they were all socializing or talking about other things, I kept finding myself coming back to the Nook. Uh, you may or may not have seen it, I did a video on the main channel doing the unboxing and the initial, the first look at the Nook. Uh, I, I normally would not have purchased an e-reader. However, I won a contest, I told you about this a while back, it showed up in the mail, and to be honest, it's not super blazing fast or anything, but... For everyday stuff, for just reading, this is actually really, really nice. It's better than I could have ever hoped for. And strangely enough, I've even purchased a couple of books through the Nook Bookstore. Nook Bookstore. Yes, uh, another YouTuber, name of Caters17, she's a daily vlogger that's actually, a, she was a comedy channel that be, uh, created a daily vlogging channel. I've been watching her for a very long time, really amusing girl. Uh, she went on and on about this series, The Hunger Games. So I went ahead and purchased the first two books in the series. Well, I purchased the first one, I read it completely over the weekend, and then I purchased the second one, and I'm halfway done with that. If that tells you uh, just how easy it is to read on this thing, that actually gets to a different topic. Uh, someone sent me an email asking about why I would have gone with an e-reader over a tablet. My response was basically this. Uh, tablets and e-readers serve usually completely separate markets. A tablet is someone who generally wants the full functionality of an operating system and all of the applications that entails and might want to do some e-reading on it, might want to do web browsing, might want to watch videos. Uh, the e-reader market, on the other hand, is someone that wants to get a very, a very, very nice uh, reading experience but doesn't necessarily care about anything else. I don't know if you'll be able to see it on the screen or not, but the text on that is so, so easy to read, so easy to, uh, it's easier on the eyes. I mean, the little LCD screen at the bottom can be a little harder on the eyes, kind of like looking at a desktop LCD. But the text on the e-ink part of the screen, just amazing. I mean, it's just like reading a traditional plain text book. In addition, I did take this outside in the sunlight. A couple of people were asking how it worked in the sun, and it has worked more than admirably. I took it out in full bright sunlight over the weekend to, to show it to my mother, because she was, she was interested in one herself, because she does a lot of reading. And the Nook was really easy to read on this uh, this e-ink screen. So, I mean, I'm not not a paid promotion, not anything like that, just my experiences with it. And uh, the only other thing I would s say to talk about with it is the, uh, the battery life. It was supposed to have 10 days of battery life if you leave it in uh, airplane mode. And I have not experienced that. I don't know where we got off here, but I've, I've sort of gone from Indiana Linux Fest into a Nook review. Uh, but basically, my experience with it so far like like a lot of people said in the initial review, the initial unboxing video, uh, the speed of it, it's extremely, extremely slow. But how often on a reader are you going to be reading at such a pace that you're going to be having to flip pages every three seconds? 
Uh, when I flip the page, we'll see here. Yeah, that's about how long it takes to flip the page. Not terribly difficult. I don't plan on flipping pages all that fast because I don't read that fast. Other than that, I mean, there are some other things it can do. I'm looking at this as an excuse to have an e-reader. Basically, to get back to the idea of tablet versus uh, versus e-reader, I know I'm going around in odd circles here. Um, I am very interested in owning a tablet at some point, but for the time being, I'm, I'm really interested in getting some reading done. And this has been nothing but a help for that, because if I had a tablet, uh, I would be doing nothing more than watching videos, playing Angry Birds, and other tablet-related things with my cell phone, my Android-based cell phone. I do very, very little reading on it. I mostly do day-to-day uh, -day activities like email and web browsing and occasionally gaming and things like that when I have time. With this, because the options are so limited and, and it's so small and easy to carry around with decent battery life, I read. <laughs> now that I have the ability to read, I, I do. I mean, I, I could have picked up a book before. It's just more convenient because I can have thousands of books on this at a, at a moment's notice. That's the other thing to keep in mind about it. The one thing that I'm actually really enjoying about it is any sort of PDF manuals that I've got. I know I've got one on Drupal, I've got one on some open source software things. I can load them all up on this and read them on the go. I tried doing that with some readers on Android and the screen being so small, it was really difficult for it to, to make the text flow properly. Uh, this actually deals with it really, really well. As long as the PDF isn't it doesn't have some sort of DRM built into it. I, I don't know anything about that. Uh, other than that, it does really well with it. I tried the Drupal manual, and it was really easy to read it. So I'm looking forward to where I go with as far as reading this, uh, using this for reading. And, uh, yeah, basically, excellent experience so far. I don't know if I would recommend paying $150 for it, uh, but my experience with it definitely... Uh, if, if I did not already have one, I would consider purchasing one just for reading. Uh, but again, that's that's two separate markets there. If you're in it for the reading, an e-reader is the best way to go. If you're in it for other stuff other than reading, with occasional reading, a tablet's a great way to go. Anyway, I've been rambling on for quite a while now. Just wanted to remind you guys about Indiana Linux Fest, that I'm going to be doing a talk there on March 26th. It's like 2.15 to 3-something. I don't think my talk's going to last that long, but we'll, we'll see what happens when we get there. Uh, other than that... I hope you guys are having a great day. I'm going to be working on several videos this week for the main channel. And uh, that's about it. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you again very soon.